I will never leave thee. Hebrews 13, verse 5. No promise is a private interpretation. Whatever God has said to any one saint, he has said to all. When he opens a well for one, it is that all may drink. When he opens a granary door to give out food, there may be one starving man who is the occasion for its being opened, but all hungry saints may come and feed too. Whether he gave the word to Abraham or to Moses matters not, O believer. He has given it to you as one of the covenanted seed. There is not a high blessing too lofty for you, nor a wide mercy too extensive for you. Lift up your eyes now to the north and to the south, to the east and to the west, for all this is yours. Climb to the mountaintop and view the utmost limit of the divine promise, for the land is all your own. There is not a brook of living water of which you may not drink. If the land flows with milk and honey, eat the honey and drink the milk, for both are yours. Be bold to believe, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. In this promise, God gives to his people everything. I will never leave you. Then no attribute of God can cease to be engaged for us. Is he mighty? He will show himself strong on the behalf of them that trust him. Is he love? Then with loving kindness will he have mercy upon us. Whatever attributes may compose the character of deity, every one of them to its fullest extent shall be engaged on our side. To put everything in one, there is nothing you can want, there is nothing you can ask for, there is nothing you can need in time or eternity, there is nothing living, nothing dying, there is nothing in this world, nothing in the next world, there is nothing now, nothing at the resurrection morning, nothing in heaven which is not contained in this text, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will never leave thee. Hebrews 13, verse 5.